Hey guys, it's Steve and I. Today I would like to talk about trauma and drama and uh, just some not so nice stuff that's happening right now. And I have kind of a positive message to say about it, quite honestly. Um, so I'm going to start with the summary. I used to be very active. I used to go on a lot of walks and do active things. And then I injured myself. And I have spent the last year unable to do any of the things I used to do, completely incapacitated, pretty much, and very limited and disabled. So that's what this story is going to be about. So about two years ago was the beginning of COVID-19. Right after COVID started, I moved out on my own in my beautiful trailer, which I'm sure you have seen if you watched any other videos on my channel. And... Uh, I was suddenly living by myself during quarantine and working from home. So I was just home all day, every day. I wasn't really going out anywhere that wasn't absolutely necessary. I wasn't going to work every day. I didn't see any friends. It was just me. And so while I was home, in the in-between time, between when I was working and when I had nothing to do, I was playing Pokemon Go. There were some Pokemon... Uh, gyms and Pokestops in the area, actually really close to me, that I could sometimes reach from my house. And so I got into the habit of playing that. So I'd wake up in the morning, go for a good morning walk before it got too hot, walk around the whole city, especially if it was my day off and I didn't have to go back home to do work or if I didn't go actually into work. Um, I would just walk around for hours. I would go from church to park to grocery store to other park to other church to restaurant to any number of places. Just hours. Like like six hours of walking on a day off. And I had a lot of fun doing it. It was good exercise. It made me feel alive. It was fun to play the video game and being very active while doing it. I just had a lot of fun. And... Later on, uh, when my sister moved in with me, we could play together. And she also played Pokemon Go a lot, so this was perfect. Every day, when I went out for my walk, because I went for a walk every day, even when I did go back to work physically, I was taking walks on my lunch break. And every day I would walk, and I would think to myself, I am so lucky to be able to do this, to be able to be this active. Um, it... I, I've seen my grandmother deteriorate in health, and I think about myself getting older and how that's going to affect me a lot, and I was just very thankful, very grateful that I had the ability to walk like I did, to walk fast, to be very active and run around and just have fun as a young person. And I remember thinking, you know, if a car came up on the sidewalk, because I was next to a very busy street, if a car came up on the sidewalk and just hit me, that could be it. I could be paralyzed for the rest of my life, and I wouldn't be able to do this anymore. So I made this promise to myself. Whenever I go out, I'm going to look at the beauty of what's around me, and I'm going to really appreciate the time that I have. I'm going to be thankful for the ability to do these things, though they may be temporary, because I am just glad to have them while they're here. And I'd go outside, I'd walk to my park, wow, it's so beautiful out here, so great to be able to get out, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. That was the big phrase, enjoy it while you can, enjoy it while you can. Get everything in, walk your six hours today, because you may not be able to walk again when you get older. And I seriously was not expecting the when you get older to be within a year, uh, at the age of 26. Uh, that seems, uh, a little too young to be getting older, uh, in my opinion. But I did injure my foot, not playing Pokemon, completely separate thing. And it's been quite a ride because it hasn't been healing right. I had it in and out of boots and, uh, on crutches and a scooter, uh, in different shoes with different insoles in them. Right now, I currently have it casted. It's been casted for three months, and it is going to be casted for another month, probably. And at that point, if it still hasn't healed, because it's been a year, it's been over a full year, if it still hasn't healed, I may just have to have that bone removed. And with that, 
let me give you a little bit of a diagram of what it looks like. Here's my foot, right? This is the sesamoid bone, which is the one that's inflamed. If they remove that, it just goes like Meh. That's some permanent deformation and a very bad arthritis. And the doctor has stated he does not want to do that surgery on me unless absolutely necessary. He wants me to heal. Um, so I have a bone stimulator that I put on my foot every night, and I'm trying to be extra careful on it. I am using I'm a like a, a, a knee scooter. Uh, if I go out, but I don't go out too much, I am home on disability right now, I'm not working, so I am mo home most of the time, not really doing anything, have my foot up, very relaxed. I'm hoping that helps. Uh, even if it helps, though, I'm not going to be able to go back to the life I had before. It was stripped away from me in an instant. It seems like one accident has changed my life so much in exactly the way I thought it was going to, but years down the line. Like, I knew I wouldn't be able to walk like that forever. I knew I wouldn't be able to have that kind of fun forever and be that active, but I just was not expecting it to happen so soon. But because I did these whole, like, enjoy it while it lasts, enjoy it while it lasts, I feel like I got more out of it, and now that I don't have it, I can look back on it knowing I got everything out of it that I really wanted to. So it's kind of sad that I can't go back, even if my foot does heal. But knowing that I made that promise, that I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts, makes it feel a lot more special to remember those times where otherwise they might be kind of like bitter, like, oh, I can't do that anymore. But it's more like, oh, I had a lot of good times when I was able to do that. I want to be able to do that again, so I'm going to stay extra healthy, that kind of thing. So I'm trying to keep a positive attitude. I'm really glad I came with that attitude to begin with before the accident, the whole enjoy it while it lasts thing, because that has helped me get through a lot of this because... You know, nothing in life is guaranteed, and it can be hard sometimes, but I'm doing my best, and hopefully healing every day, and I just encourage you, this is your call to action, enjoy every moment while it lasts. Look at what you're doing and go, this is something that I like, I'm going to enjoy every second of it, really savor of it while, savor it while I'm doing it, and I think you'll enjoy yourself a lot more especially in case anything happens, and hopefully it doesn't. But just to have that attitude, I hope that I can pass that on to you because that has been so helpful to me in what has been a very traumatic experience that changed my life forever. Um, so thank you for listening. Remember to enjoy every moment while it lasts. And I'll see you guys.